Dear friends, this is my tutorial 11 in a Gaussian. So in this tutorial you can learn how to make colorful spin density plot using Vestar software. You can download Vestar software uh, in on online. Just you type Vestar in Google, you will get that website. Just you download it and uh, directly you can uh, unzip that folder. You can click that Vestar icon logo. So you will get uh, started. Okay. So you do it that one. So I'm using Vestar to make a colorful spin density plot okay so i will uh, tell you how to do this one so these are the different uh, colored plot i made it using that vesta software you can also learn how to do it you can make it for your research okay so i, I will tell you how to make this plot using a vesta software so for so first we can open our vesta So I already installed Vesta. Yeah, just open. So in order to do uh, make colorful spin density plot, you need a Q file. Okay. So I, I will tell you how to get that Q file. So this is the one video I published uh, previous videos uh, how to perform spin density calculation using Gaussian 6 Z09. If you watch this video, you can uh, know how to generate generate your Q file and also save okay now after watching this you can do the spin um, colorful spin density plot yourself it's very simple and easy and also very nice giving nice look and you can use it for your research purpose okay um, yeah please watch this video then you can uh, do that one okay this is the Vesta software so we will open our uh, Q files So I already saved that uh, Q file. So this is the Q file. This is the Iridium um, NC complex. I think uh, I already made it for spin density calculation for Gaussian. So this is the spin density the Q file. Just to drag into here, so you will see the spin density plot and a yellow unsigned color and also box. You can remove this box. You clicking these properties and go to general and uh, line unit cell don't show it will go just click it ok so just uh, zoom it like uh, using mouse it will zoom so you can keep on, on a good view so here you did not see the bonds first we can make the bond in between the iridium atom this is very important so for that first we will go to edit and here click uh, bonds and you will see like this here nothing will show just click this one and uh, change into down one then it will show all the things okay now click new after clicking new you it will uh, show easily just you change into iridium to carbon first okay then you can increase the bond length so bond length up to uh, 2.5 you can give just apply yeah c2 iridium three bonds formed so again we need to do the nitrogen iridium bond not shown so for that uh, what you have to do again click uh, new then you can change into iridium to nitrogen this also keep 2.5 or you can keep 2.6 then apply nitrogen bond will form why i'm giving maximum length so the i we have to give maximum length in between nitrogen and uh, iridium so like that so we will check that uh, bond length so clicking this you can check also bond length click this atom and also this nitrogen atom we will show 2.21 so we are using 2.6 or 2.5 we using we we used so that's why it's connected in being nitrogen and iridium okay that's all so now we need to reduce this contour size next we created bonds so we can reduce our uh, contour size so go to properties and click isosurface and click this positive and negative things then you can see isosurface levels so here you can keep three okay then you can uh, tap you will, will reduce if you want to more you can increase this number into four so it will reduce automatically then uh, click ok now the contour size we reduced now we have to change the atom colors that's very important then only it will give good looks 
go to a click properties go to atoms here you can see iridium iridium you can make it the radius 1.5 then only it will looks good okay then you can uh, change in then you need to change the colors so we can change that color so 24 type and 85 year 135 this is the iridium color okay rgp color so then you can change into carbon carbon also you type one radius he says this is the 130 130 130 okay then tick tap it will increase the size then you can click h h you can increase 0 0.8 you can change into color into white color so now we need to change nitrogen color so click nitrogen one and you can click blue color click ok so that's all we have created our colorful uh, spin density plot just uh, that's all just you can uh, go to export and uh, save as here so go to export save as here you can see click file export raster image okay just to click it you can make yellow color save it will ask uh, size scale size just give five yeah that's all finished so if you want to change colors you can also change into uh, this contours colors just go to properties isosurface click this one so click here if you want to violet color just click violet click ok it will change violet so you can save this image if you want then you can go to uh, red color just click ok then it will change red color then if you want to any other green color just click green and click ok it will change green color so likewise you can create your spin density plants very colorful so this that things yeah so if you like my content please uh, please like and subscribe comment and share the video so and also please click the bell icon for my future videos thank you thank you for watching thank you for your time enjoy